Louis Two Motors here with my boy Brandon. And you can hear the cars in the background. I know, right? That's 2000 driving by. So, yeah, we're just uh, out here filming the cars, you know. A little bit behind the scenes. I'm about to get a, a nice drive by shot. Sure to follow the Instagram and then yeah just keeping you guys you know in touch with what we guys are doing uh what did I fix on the accord oh you know I did a surprise thing so I did an exhaust install uh I wasn't actually expecting to do the exhaust uh I went for a quote the you know and then I showed up to the shop uh, in Van Nuys called Super Tuning talked to Coco Coco's a cool dude uh and he gave me all the all the lists and the prices and I was thinking like ah oh, you know I might think about an exhaust and then he gave me a killer deal couldn't pass it up and then so I dropped the car off and I got an exhaust so now the car has some nice sound to it gives it a nice v6 growl so you're gonna hear that in the in the sound clip for sure um, and that's pretty much it done to the car I think the car the only thing left is the interior that I gotta fix because there's some tears in the main front seat uh, Passenger seat and driver's seat, some really big tears, so I want to fix that. Other than that, the car's pretty much done. Uh, you know, it's great. I uh, love it. I love how it sounds now. It gives it more of a character. And yeah, let's show you what we got. So, as you can see, the tips are right there. Pretty nice, pretty stylish. Don't stick out too much of the car. Uh, it is a cat back exhaust, so it's not too loud. It's still smog legal, so I don't have to worry about it. no issues with the cops in any way. And I'll always pass smog still, so give you a little sound test. The stuff we go through to try to get the shot. Look at him over there. He's going through the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> so another spot up here uh, there was actually a new corvette oh, trying to do a donut but didn't work out for him so he left oh yeah i guess this is one thing i put evc brake pads and evc rotors on this car quite a while ago before the coilovers um i think even before the wheels and, and, and tires um but i think these are the evc green pads they're really they're really dirty they they do a lot of they leave a lot of brake dust they're really good brake pads but i think i'm gonna have to change them to something else because man do they leave these wheels dirty but i mean they stop i think the next step is going to be probably steel braided lines brandon has steel braided lines on the eclipse over there and i think he's sending it all the time around a little bit and who knew you could do Tokyo Drift on a Honda Accord? <laughs> <laughs> in reverse. In reverse. Reverse see. entry. What yeah, I know, right? Reverse entry. Um, turns out I can do a little bit of a burnout. Turned off traction control as you see. First burnout ever in the Accord? Uh, I think I've done it once like that before, but technically, you know, never, no one was ever there, so <laughs> now there was. <laughs> That's going to be a cool video. It's going to be a cool one. Um, you know, just keep you guys updated on what we're doing. It's cold now. We're not really trying to ride anymore. Uh, we tried riding Thanksgiving Day and it was freezing. I mean, for California, it was freezing. So don't make fun of us, y'all. East Coast dudes or whatever. But, you know, it was cold for us. It was windy. We saw a lot of bikers go down actually on Thanksgiving Day. So just not, not going to ride anymore until probably springtime. Um, so now it's car time. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of car stuff. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned. So we'll catch you on the flip side. Stay safe, obviously. Peace out.